Hey, today it's uh, 15 July. So over the weekend, documented something on because uh, one of the graduates in the investing community asked about how to choose a read. So this presented me an opportunity to record uh, something that happened because uh, my son Ted Reed went over to Australia to buy another property. So the following video is gonna show you what were the thoughts that ran through my mind when I was reading that note of acquisition. So continue watching. The next thing is that, oh, you will read that the developer provides a rent guarantee on unlet office space for three years post practical completion. This whole video is more about uh, my response to the notice of acquisition that my one of my reads did, Suntech read, and today it's 14 July. This notice was given out on the 1st July, and uh, like I mentioned, a spit of things happened, so I decided that today will be the day that I'll record and I'll, uh, and I'll note, document down what is the things that I take note whenever the, my read has acquisition. So first thing, definitely have to go and download, and the most basic thing is that because it's only how many pages? Nine pages, so kindly one thing, please go and invest all your time to go and read the notice of acquisition in detail. Meaning that just read through each line and when I did that, one of the things that came to my came to my attention is this put and call option D, which would be explained later uh, further down when we uh, scroll down this whole document, okay, and I need to think now who's the developer. Okay, so this is basically the oh, yes, and when is the expected completion date? It happens to be first quarter 2020. Okay, so is there anything more? I don't think there is any. Yep, you just need to think now and call option. Okay, then it's a freehold, freehold means able to hold the property the means it belongs to the read uh, forever okay and yeah the developer and the completion date okay first next thing I'll take note is the amount of uh, net letterable area you know two zero two zero three four hundred square feet which comprises of uh, eighteen hundred eighty one thousand and twenty one thousand uh, of office and retail space approximately as well as 170 car park lots this gives me an idea of what the rate is going to be and whether it's um, my rate manager buying other properties of other segments this allows me to assess whether they are they, uh, are they going out of their circle of competence next question is that okay Definitely, I want to make sure that the property is pre-committed and anchored by someone. So I took a look at this. Uh, what is this publicist group? Okay, and in fact, Sunday also gave a quick description. Okay, and next thing is that oh, you will read that the developer provides a rent guarantee on the unlet office space for three years post practical completion. So uh, this is one of the things that uh, I want to take note because uh, when Capital Commercial Trust uh, had such a thing called the income support for one uh, for one or for the twenty one ensign, so this uh, basically uh, supports the amount of distributions. But uh, but once that income support is has expired, it comes down. Of course, uh, next question is that uh, each kind of acquisition uh, would be drafted in different terms but this is one of the key things that I think so I think probably somewhere around here I'm just going to put the cut to talk about the income support that I learned uh, when I when I bought my other REIT Capital Commercial Trust and the nice thing about this property is that the uh, weighted average lease expiry is 10 years that's very long Okay, then you want to make sure there's a re uh, annual rental escalation 3 to 4%. Okay, definitely all buildings, there must be traffic. Uh, though I don't go to Australia that often. So uh, that's, uh, that I need to do more uh, insights into the Australia, which I do not do right now. 
okay so I just read it I think the as face value 15 minutes okay because during the AGM he's gonna be looking at the numbers again da 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 178 119 okay so just estimated cost okay purchase price apparently development services fee is the bulk then followed by the acquisition fee that's payable to the manager that's normal the transaction fee that's normal okay Ken here's the interesting part so whenever your read uh, has such an option kindly read it because what I do understand is that uh, yeah there's this little little tiny details what ending 10 days business 10 business day after and the put option and the put option there's a uh, ending five days okay so those are the very little kind of uh, specific details that each week manager can craft the acquisition agreement okay but the one of the things that I, uh, I took note was that ah uh, pursuant so even before this whole thing can happen the REIT must pay 190 million first okay so the key intention is to have an idea oh when this building comes in what is happening to the to the REIT um, so what I understood is that 190 million Aussie dollars will be will have to be paid first okay then um, subsequently there were a few things I have as mentioned the income support the developer which is a uh, Harry's development uh, will provide a rent guarantee on unlet office space based on market rent for a period of three years so this three years means that the income that means so-called the rental income will be supported by this developer however once these three years ends the rental income from this uh, property can decrease if the office space or all the unlet space is uh, is still vacant okay mm, da, 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 da. ah yeah then they will tell you what happens in the period up to practical completion when a lease is committed in relation to unlet space varies on a rent guarantee the fee for the development services will be adjusted based on a cap rate of 5.5 applied to the variance in net income achieved um, the exact details I'm not sure but definitely this is one, one of the things that I don't look out for right now because I believe now is the next part so they give the they give the next part which I will let you know again um, so Paramount this is what they are talking about the macro overview of our prim Primon then uh, oh okay Ken this is the next thing I need to take note uh, the acquisition is expected to be D DPU distribution per unit equity for unit holders upon completion uh, the net property income yield will be 5% 5.5 per annum including rent guarantee okay lease committed okay ah, because uh, why I say I needed to I didn't really put too much uh, insects into this is because of the following how are they going to fund the whole acquisition via so apparently there's going to be a Australia, Australian dollar debt and equity okay so whatever pro forma or all, all those things you know so that's the end so that in the end that led me to ask or email back the IR team so I say Melissa thanks for the update acquisition will be funded by borrowings and equity so I said would borrowings for borrowings what's the borrowings percentage that our REIT will loan at then for uh, for uh, oh sorry in fact it was supposed to be equity is it a public fundraising or a private fundraising because that was basically what the document wrote but no not much details were given especially on the borrowing um, recently a I think two to three months ago I recorded I documented down this video called the uh, the interest rate spreads game that all rate managers have to play and for this building right because it says that it's gonna be funded via combination of Australian dollar debt and equity right not much details given but the net property income is give net property income you is giving me at five point five percent 
so it only makes sense for the read manager to or perhaps it only makes sense for the whole read to buy this building if the interest rate is way lower than 5.5% because there's this spread gain the cost of borrowing versus the income that you can get due to the borrowing so if here is 5.5 the cost of borrowing should be lower so that it, so that at the net net game is that the read will get this uh, net amount of returns so this is basically what I wanted to document down when I saw this notice of acquisition uh, broadcasted by my read Suntech as of 14 July 2019 1.07pm so uh, I hope this oh so just do a recap um, basically it's the interest rates is there a no the in the cost of borrowing versus their net property income two is there a pre uh, if in the event of unlet space during a certain period is there an income support okay um, yeah I think these are basically the three and the third one you know the third one is how would this building be used is it used for office space and retail space as uh, as expected by yourself because if you are buying a certain read if you are buying an industry read you should be expecting this property to be of an industrial type so uh, if it doesn't match means that probably your read manager has a certain reason of going out of the second competence so this is basically what I wanted to share in this video uh, Thank you for watching and yeah, continue to browse the other uh, rich video in the playlist. See you! So thank you for watching all the way until the 10th minute. So hope this bell, hope the following video has added lots of value to you and I'll end this vlog here. I'm talking to Philly, I'm talking to London, I'm talking to DC, Paris, Berlin.